How to make the lens whacking effect. Today's video is sponsored by Audio, a great platform where you can get licensed music and sound effects made for filmmakers. Duplicate your clip and bring it on top. Trim it down to the part where you want the effect to be, and try to keep it short. Right click to that part, make it a new fusion clip, and open it in the fusion page. Add a lens reflection node. Open up the isolation controls, and adjust the brightness slider to your liking. Change the color of the refraction if you want. Play around with the global blur slider and the anamorphism. Right click to the global brightness slider, and select to modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab. Change the source to duration, and the curve to easing. Set the in and out to sign, and check the mirror box. You can increase or decrease the brightness by changing the scale value. Add a camera shake. Increase the speed scale and the motion blur all the way. Adjust the pan and the tilt amplitude to your liking, and increase the speed a bit. Change the border type to replicate. If you want you can increase the zoom amplitude and speed also. Once you are satisfied with your camera shake, right click to the motion scale slider, and select to modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, change the source to duration, and the curve to easing. Set the in and out to sign, and check the mirror box. Add a motion trails node. Open the move trail menu, right click to the pan slider, and select to modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, Change the source to duration, and the curve to easing. Set the in and out to sign, and check the mirror box. If your trail distance is too long, you can decrease the scale value to make it shorter. Go back to the tools tab, and change the border type to replicate. Change the pan angle if you want your trails to move in a different direction. You can use this effect as a transition also. Just cut few frames of your clips. Duplicate and move them on top. Right click, and make them a new compound clip. Now you can make this one a new fusion clip and go through the same steps like before. Of course this is the half of the effect, the other half of it is the sound design. I went to the audio.com website, where you can find a huge amount of quality music and sound effects made for filmmakers. The most important thing I noticed, is that the license you get, covers everything, from YouTube monetization to broadcast television. I went to the mysterious playlist under the moods category, and I found exactly what I was looking for. You can create your own playlist or you can save the songs you liked in the favorites. One thing I liked a lot, is that when you are downloading the song, you get the license in PDF format, so that you can provide it where it is needed. You can also browse your music, with very useful and easy to use filters. Choose the mood, in my case I want it to be chill. Also I will set the genre to cinematic. In the video theme, I will choose the slow motion. The build filter is very useful for filmmakers. Depending on the style of your edit, you can choose steady, ascending, middle crescendo, or multiple crescendo if your video has a multiple peak moments. You can see the differences in the audio waveform of the songs. The BPM filter is also a very handy tool. Set your desired tempo of the song, and search through the results. The vocals filter is easy to understand. About the duration filter, the instrumental only, and the lyrical only, I think you can guess what they are doing. For the sound effects, go to the SFX menu, and search through the pre-made cinematic collections, or search based on the category. If you have a specific effect that you are looking for, go to the search, type the name of the effect and search through the results, you can narrow down the results, or you can choose the duration. With more than 30,000 sound effects, you will find anything you want. Use the code SAVE10 to get a 10% discount to your subscription.